don't you have like work to do right now? What are you doing on YouTube? <laughs> It's really hard to be motivated when you're stuck between four walls, your bed is right there, Netflix is right there, and TikTok is right there. But that is the first problem. There are too many distractions. Step 1. Everyone says eliminate distractions, eliminate distractions, but they don't actually explain why you have to do that. Basically, we're more likely to do things that are easiest for us at that time. Let's just say you have your chemistry book and TikTok right in front of you. You're more likely to pick TikTok because that is more fun and easier for you to do at that moment in time. But usually, TikTok is not the only distraction from our work. We have TikTok, we have Instagram, YouTube, Netflix, and so many other more applications that can distract you from your work. That is why you spend hours going through each and every distraction until you run out of ideas or feel guilty enough and then you actually start your work. So that is where app blockers or website blockers come in handy and here are some of the most popular ones right now. So now you've eliminated all your distractions, right? Here is step two, don't multitask. Multitasking does not only mean that you're watching Netflix while doing your notes. Multitasking can also come in the form of switching between each homework or each task too many times within a short span of time. To simply explain how inefficient multitasking is, let me just give you an example that I gave in my Why You Always Busy But Unproductive video which you can check out here. So you've just finished your lunch and now you have a lot of things to wash. The logical thing to do is to wash them all at once. You're not gonna wash a plate, cut the grass, wash a cup, reply to some emails, then wash the utensils. That simply does not make any sense. So why are we doing that when it comes to our work, when it's time to actually be productive? Why do we study for 30 minutes, stop to scroll on Instagram, then work on a project? Instead, you want to try a time management method called batching. Batching is where you group all your tasks into small batches and then you take a break in between completing each small batch. This type of time management will help you stay focused, decrease distractions and minimize procrastination because you're forced to complete a small group of tasks before taking a break. There are two ways you can practice batching. First, you start out by listing everything you need to accomplish and then you group similar tasks together. For example, tasks that require creativity, research, exercise, homework, notes, and so on. This means that instead of spending 30 minutes doing notes in the morning, then 2 hours in the afternoon, and 1 hour at night, you're gonna do it all in one go in the morning. The second way you can practice batching is that you break down an intimidating project or idea like writing an essay into very simple steps. Every single time you finish one step or one batch of tasks, then you take a break and reward yourself. Now you may be thinking like, okay, how is this different from the Pomodoro method? Because in the Pomodoro method, you work for 25 minutes and then you take a break in between. I've always found batching to be better than the Pomodoro method for two reasons. The first reason is some tasks take 10 minutes to complete while other tasks take 3 hours to complete. So limiting yourself to 25 minutes is quite inefficient for me. For example, I want to sketch out my new painting. I would want to search up inspiration and draw out the sketch in one sitting. Taking breaks would ruin my train of thought. Therefore, batching things that you want to do together and then only resting after you've completed them makes much more sense at least to me. I actually learned a lot of my time management methods and productivity tips from Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers literally thousands of classes on everything from entrepreneurship to time management and my personal favorites, art and productivity. One class that you guys should watch is Managing Attention in the Digital Age by Kevin Siskar. Especially in lesson 3 where Kevin explains how we usually get distracted by uncompleted tasks and he goes into more detail on how to improve your attention span and overcome distractions. You can actually watch this class for free with no advertisements because the first 1000 of you who click the link in my description box will get a free 1 month trial of the premium membership for Skillshare. So you can watch all these amazing professional videos for free and maximize your productivity or explore your creativity. There are also other familiar faces on Skillshare who I've learned a lot from and I can confidently say that Skillshare has helped me boost my creativity and productivity. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So you've already removed all your distractions and you've broken down your to-do list. What's the next step? 
Step 3. Here are some simple yet productive ways you can make studying a little bit more fun and less difficult when you're just not in the mood to study. For subjects with a lot of essays like economics or Bahasa Melayu, what you can do is print out a lot of sample essays. Then you can summarize those essays in point form or using mind maps. You're not only practicing how you should structure your essays in the future and what points you should include, but also, this is much easier than actually writing the entire essay by yourself when you're not in the mood. For subjects like biology with a lot of terms and definitions that you have to remember, do flashcards. Fun, simple, and effective. If you need to revise an entire chapter, what you can do is get a few blank pieces of paper and put that beside your notes or your textbook. While you're reading your notes, write down points you can't remember or you think are important that you want to recap later on. If you compile those papers, that can actually be your revision booklet to read right before your exam. I know I always say don't make your notes pretty or whatever because it's a waste of time, but honestly, in this case, screw it. Let's just draw bunnies and rainbows if we want because we're not trying to be A-star students here, we're just trying to get our motivation back. Step 4. Don't be afraid to modify your to-do list according to your mood. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! Let's just say you have a really important biology assignment that's due in a few days. On the other hand, you have an economics exam you have to study for that is due in 3 weeks. In a perfect world, you would want to complete the biology assignment before studying for economics, but if you're just not in the mood to do biology right now and you want to study economics, then go ahead and study economics. I find that studying easier things actually gets me into the mood of really studying and then better prepares me for tackling scary stuff like chemistry. Study something that you like right now, then remind yourself to have a productive day tomorrow blazing through something difficult like biology, rather than struggling tonight and tomorrow. Forcing yourself to do things that you don't like is just going to ruin your motivation and cause you to burn out, which is not what we want. But then again, have self-discipline. Take more breaks but fully focus when you're actually studying. Write down every single thing you need to accomplish before taking a break and do not rest until those things are completed. If you keep taking breaks before your to-do list is completed, things are going to pile up and that's when you feel overwhelmed and then you feel like breaking down. I've been there bestie, okay? I don't want you to go through that as well but you're probably going through that right now. That's why you're watching this video. <laughs> It is so important to not wait until you feel like studying to actually start studying because in life, you're going to do a lot of things that you don't like. So you need to start building up self-discipline right now. I've said this before, but to all my new subscribers, the only person stopping you is yourself. If all those things are not working, step 5. Pressure yourself. You can study with a group of friends or join a study discord like mine. There are always people studying here, so feel free to join us. You can also write out your goals and stick them where you can see it every single day. If you don't have something to remind you of why you're working so hard in the first place, then you're likely going to forget that reason and then not work hard at all. Or you can just open your room door or study where your family can see you. I don't know about you, but I hate it when people see me study because then I actually have to study. But that's like the whole point right now is to pressure yourself so you actually start doing work. Step 6 and probably the most important point is that prioritizing your mental health is as important as prioritizing your academics. It is really important to understand that taking a few days off to do absolutely nothing is not wasting time if it means that it'll prevent you from burning out. I actually missed one chemistry assignment because I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I was already like on the verge of a breakdown. I was suffering from a lack of sleep and I just didn't want... I didn't have the energy to pull one more all-nighter to finish that assignment, so I didn't. I decided to skip the assignment completely and focus on future assignments. Do I recommend doing this all the time? Obviously not. Um, focus on your mental health, not focus on dropping out, but <laughs> there is a difference between taking a break and being lazy. So, are you taking a break right now or are you being lazy? <laughs> Comment down below the subject that you don't like studying and I'll be sure to reply you. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and also click on the notification bell and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you to all 76,000 of you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Tusks. Tusks. Batching is where... Tusks.